time now for culture. And for that, we're heading to the south of France, where Olivia Salazar-Winspear has the latest for us from the Cannes Film Festival. Olivia, the top prizes will be awarded tomorrow night, and there are only two films competing for the Palme d'Or, which are left to uh, be screened. But in one of the sidebar sections, they've already chosen a winner. Tell us more about that. Yes, that's right. The International Critics Week has already given out their top prize to a Colombian film called La Jauria. That translates as the pack, like a, a pack of dogs. And it comes from 32-year-old director Andres Ramirez Pulido. This is his first feature-length film. Now, the story starts with protagonist Eliu, who is a minor, serving time in an experimental incarcerational facility. It's in the heart of the Colombian jungle. And the rehabilitation program there involves a lot of hard work and group therapy. Somebody arrives from his past and awakens some unwelcome memories there. So this film is sort of a comment on the violence of a situation where children, in effect, are murderers and are being punished as so. But they're also victims of the cartels there who often use them as cannon fodder. That builds on many of the previous ideas explored by this director in his short films. He's all most interested in the challenges of breaking free from a cycle of for colonial and post-colonial violence in Latin America. And coming back to the main competition in Cannes, we will have films from Leonora Saray and Kelly Reichardt uh, coming up today, but give us a reminder of last night's red carpet premiere. Last night saw Hirokazu Koreeda return to Cannes with his latest release, Broker. Now, of course, uh, hopes were very high because Koreeda went home with the top prize, the Palme d'Or, in 2018 for that film, Shoplifters. Now, this director is really well known for his close, almost sociological examination of Japanese society. So it was quite a surprise to see that all of the action in this film takes place in Korea. And with a few household Korean names, for example, actor Song Kang Ho, he's the man best known for playing the father figure in 2019's Parasite, which also won the Palme d'Or here at Cannes. And then, of course, there's singer and actress at Ji Yoon Lee, who has a horde of fans who are very happy to see her on the red carpet here. Now, the story in this film starts with an abandoned baby. A mother leaves him outside of a church, hoping that he'll be taken into an adoptive family. But we do discover in this film that there's a lucrative business, an underworld a network of brokers, the broker of the title, who are buying and selling newborns. Let's get a better idea of the film in this clip. Once again, Corrieda is musing here on family and fate, the ties that bind us, whether they're biological or experiential. And this is very elegantly done. There are some heartbreaking moments, there are some comical moments, and the overall tone is like in much of his previous work, quite charming and quite uh, sentimental, tender. But of course, there's a harsh reality there at the center of it, the sort of life-changing decisions that people have to make. And Olivia, you've been checking out an initiative to give young filmmakers from developing uh, nations a boost. Tell us more. Yes, this project is called La Fabrique du Cinéma, and the idea is to give young talents some visibility, some exposure here at the festival, and possibly secure their funding for production and post-production of their first and second features. Now, how it works, ten filmmakers are selected every year. They're brought here to the festival, and in the past, they, it's actually launched the careers of, for example, Tunisian director Kelta Benhania, who had her film Beauty and the Dog screened here at Cannes. She's also the president of the jury of the International Critics Week, which which I just mentioned, who gave the prize to La Jauria. There was also uh, Wahuri Kahoyu from Kenya, whose film Rafiki got a great reception here at Cannes in the Ansatan Hagao sidebar in 2018. And one of the filmmakers from the class of 2022 comes from India. His name's Gurab Kumar Mulik. Our reporters got a chance to sit down with him to learn a bit more about the project. It's a great program. I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, thankful to them. They, had, they have picked up my project. And uh, it's, a, it's a great learning experience for me. 
I think for all of us in the program. And it's worth keeping an eye on those up-and-coming filmmakers because you never know, in a few years, they could be back here in Cannes with their completed features. Thanks for that, Olivia Salazar, Winspear, and, of course, France 24 will be keeping you up to date with all the latest from the Cannes Film Festival as it wraps up this weekend.